doing Valheim and we are on episode two so welcome back welcome back I hope that you have returned from episode one and you're enjoying the content so we have to build a starter house it's daylight so I want to try and get as much done today as possible so we have to get on and carry on so we're going to go over to the community build and meanwhile I'm going to keep trying to jump to get my stats up so my energy is higher I also need to increase stuff but I kind of want to do that by myself rather than i mean thank thanks to crafting mantis for giving me the stuff i have got it is appreciated and much wanted but a lot of the other stuff I do want to try and progress on my own there's a deer there and the winds blow me towards the sense going towards i'm not going to try and go to that deer we're going to grab a load of wood we're not going to get distracted so we're not going to get ourselves in a muddle saying that he hits the workbench i want to get a flint hammer as quickly as possible a flint axe sorry so we need to get some flint. Can we do that? Miss. Seeds. Nothing in there. Gear. It was in here. Says he doesn't want any help. And then raids the chests. Food's in there. Don't need to worry about that. I could do with eating though. Stone. Flint. There we go. So I'll take some flint. And we're going to take a load of wood. So as much as I can carry, I think. Just to get going, we'll take that for now and enter the workbench and we should be able to make ourselves a flint axe suite. We'll craft that. We want to make ourselves a hoe so we can craft that. And I think everything else is pretty much all right. We've got arrows, we've got 10. I'm going to make some wooden arrows. Do I want to make wooden arrows? they flint head arrows. Right, okay, so we're not going to do those just yet. Keep the arrows that we've got. I think that's it. We've got a flint axe, we've got a hose, so we can level the ground out, and the rest of it we can make ourselves. So I can make a workbench and everything else like that. So, I need to try and get up the image of what I was... I think he's tired. He's over-encumbered. Right, we're going to try and brings tidings over to the crow the crow's going to be um i call him the crows eugene need to lie my load okay we'll go and put some back it's all the wood i'm carrying isn't it so yeah. speak to eugene again right okay yeah. after the hoe i know all about that i'll try and talk you through some of the stuff as we go so you need a hoe to level ground out and you need a hammer which i haven't built yet so a hammer to be able to craft stuff and you also need the crafting benches around you to be able to do this as well so we should be able to set that up and it's telling us all the stuff we can now build which is great we're now come back into the chest we we'll start having to dump stuff back again because i got greedy so we're going to pick this up again and i'll put one back and see if we can carry two so. What would you like to talk to me about now? I've got the hammer, yeah. So that means I can make a workbench now, which allows me to craft a lot more stuff. So this is all usual crafting and survival stuff. Um, put one of those back, and we'll try and carry two. I need to shut the door, because obviously I don't want mobs coming in and destroying the place. We'll pick that up, and we can walk. Right, cool. So we are heading. I think it's clearing up here. I need a nice bit of land with no trees around. We can't chop those down so we've got a bigger axe. That's a bit close to Cortez there. So if we could come over here. And we could nestle down on top of this hill. I'm trying to quickly work out how much we're going to be building. So if we say... Want to level ground out. Right. We'll try and level all this out build our woodcutter's hut, which is level of mass ground out. And I think can we bring that down. Don't bring that down. All around here. And we can destroy all these bits later. I think that might start us off. Actually, no. I think we're too narrow down this side. So Keep going, keep going. These buildings are going to end up being fairly big. So 
I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing all right here. For a start, I think that will work. I am going to get the picture up and everything else like that. But in the meantime, I'm going to chop down this tree and all these bushes. So to get rid of stuff, you just hack it away. Right, so I'm going to quickly bring up the picture and I'll come back to you once I've figured out everything and where things are going and we'll start building this stone cutters. So I've leveled a bit more out. I've got the image of what I want to do put up. I've figured, figured out the direction in which I want to do it. And now we've just got to start. This stone bit's in the way here, but we don't have pickaxe as of yet. I'm pretty sure you can in the game. Um, but yeah, we shall see. All right, sorry about that. So what we want to do first of all is we want to get our hammer. So I press six up there. We've got the hammer. And now I can craft. I need to do a crafting bench as first i think yep so we need to do a crafting bench first before we can craft any of these so we'll make ourselves a crafting bench quickly and we'll just slap it down there so that's done we've got that done and we can now craft more things so we get ourselves a floor and we can rotate using the uh, scrolly wheel on the mouse and i want it so that the back face is there and we want to go i think try and work on sizing here we want to go like that, I believe. And we want the edge to be there. We're going along like that? Yeah, we go along like that. Right, okay. So the back of the building will start here. This could be bigger than I thought, actually. So. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the control sorted again. There we go, right. So place that down there. And as you can see, it toggles quite nicely. We are going to go four, I think. Is that right? I'm just trying to get the alignment just perfect on here i think we could probably build out a bit further forward and then come back this way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that there that's three i think we could probably put that there and then maybe break the uh, boulder later on could eat another bite right okay so quickly eat again i don't have any other food other than that so we'll just take that for now um we've got four there and we're yep this is where it's now starting to get to night time. So we want to... Um, out there. Break that. So we've broken the bench. Because I want to kind of place it in its rightful place to start with. So we will now craft the bench again. Unfortunately it can't go there because of the stone. So we're going to put that there. Um, I might have to run over and start night time fairly soon. Or say sleep. Um... Click the hammer, we want to start building walls. I'm going to go with normal walls to start with out the side, and then we're going to want to put a door in, aren't we? So I don't think, I think this stone's going to end up causing us a problem. It's not going to let us click to it, is it? We can rotate that round though. it in there and in there right so this will end up being here we end up with a door on this front side i think we need to come out a lot more this way anyway so that's the start of our building i'm going to try and get some sleep and i'll bring you in on an update as i've progressed a little bit further so i have exhausted all of the community resources in wood i do apologize um I will be re replenishing this and restocking it, but yeah, for now, the woodcutter's hut has taken the wood. And I feel like I'm a little bit over and covered. I should be able to make it over there though. But as you can see there in the distance, the starter house is coming along nicely. So, I've kind of done a little bit of detailing as well, but as you can see here, I need to change that actually. So I need to take all that out. Um, yeah, it's looking good, looking good. So I don't want it there, but I do want to add a little bit of an overhang over here over the door, just so that it's a bit dry around there. And we're going to extend this building all the way back along here, but after this point here, I do believe, maybe I've gone too far. No, one, two, yep. Yeah. So we're going to go three along here. In fact, I can grab that out now. Um, 
going in six we want the walls again and we're going outward facing there so we're going to go along there like that and then these are all too high but then these ones are going to be if i can get them on top i don't know if i can actually it's going to be slightly higher can we do it that way no so it's slightly difficult to try and do this i know what i can do though and that is, if I make myself a ladder, I will put it on here like this. We can climb up. We're on here. We then get the walls again, and we should. So they're going to go up one more up there along there. So we can then grab our roof. Come back down. And what we'll do is swing that around like that, back here. That's going to go like there, up there. Then this one is going to come down just like this. So it's still part of the same building, but the roof changes slightly just there to incorpor incorporate the building being slightly taller just at the back end there. And it's not going to be that much taller, just slightly. Um, but I think it adds quite a nice feature, and we could even then bring the roof out. Can we do it? I don't know if we can, actually. There. So it will come out as an overhang over the top like that. And I think that'll look quite nice, which is what I wanted to do over here. So what we might have to do is... How do we do that on this side? We can do it there, look. So we can have a bit of an overhang there, but we don't want it all the way down here because obviously we need to get to the roof. Uh, get to the roof, get to the door. And we're going to try and squeeze that one in just there as well, just to add more detail onto the side there. And obviously we're then going to have to put the roof roof on the top. And it looks like I've put the wrong... The wrong roof on the side yeah, it's quite a nice detail i like it so we put that one on there like that and we'll flip it round and then what we can do is get the wood as well the wooden beam and obviously the second day the day that i was building this it decided to rain all day so i couldn't show any of it on camera but like i say all i'm doing is building anyway so probably easier i just kind of Get, get busy building and then show you guys what I've done but as you see here it's all coming on quite nicely I'll quickly add a bit more detail here but I don't want to use too much wood because I was going to need to run out but so you have that side bit on there and it kind of gives that little step up there so I'm going to finish building all of this and then I'll bring you back in once that's finished and we do have another build that we're going to be doing in here because um, obviously a woodcutter needs to be able to see all his trees So, and we're also going to have to plant some as well so I might have to get around to doing some of that but I'll see you in the next update, and um, let's see how nice we can get this house. Don't add on my house. Um, yeah, so I've been chopping trees down and killing graylings and just trying to get some wood to try and finish this off. Then I can start focusing on replenishing the uh, community store. So, there you go. Can you hear him? Where are they? There he is think not kind sir give me your resin did I get it? yeah I think I got it, right cool right we're finished chopping this tree down so it's getting quicker to uh, process wood but I'm still only using a stone axe so I need to upgrade to a flint one really I have a flint axe you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> so I crafted a flint axe right at the beginning of recording this episode, and I haven't been using it. Oh well, never mind. So, we'll go back. Now the sun's up, we can see better. I've got a bit more wood in my hands. Things keep breaking. So, I'll try and quickly show you here. Um, let's put in... Like that. So if you look here, look, the post is green, which means it can support the weight of the stuff. So all this stuff down here is green. But as the builds got higher, we come out through here. Up here, things keep breaking. So it goes red. And obviously if it's red, you place it when it's red, it, it doesn't like it. So see they're red. So if I, I've been putting beams up here. And then every now and then, like here, they keep breaking. So you ought to try and pick the right beam to think if you try and place it 
obviously in there it doesn't like it and that's the wrong one but if you place it on here it's like yeah that's orange we can do that that's not very good there and that will fall so eventually that will break but we managed to get all this green here and some of this yellow i've kind of put these in to try and act as supports but i don't think they work too well i don't want to put it on the red so it's gradually trying to trying to get in there trying to put the piece of piece of uh structure in structure that's it um i've been placing like the wooden steps in to try and get height on it so i can place uh to get in there but i'm i'm, I'm happy with this i'm going to keep this open because so you can see what the fire goes so who can sleep but the smoke affects everything that goes on so if i get in here i think when i was up in the top earlier in this and the smoke you start losing health because you're choking so I've kind of boarded this bit off here, but I'm going to leave all this open to let the smoke out. But we still need to kind of decorate inside and sort out what we're going to do with everything. So at the moment, as it stands, I've got a campfire here in your bed here, because your bed needs to be by a fire. What I was thinking was possibly taking this out here, lowering a bit of roof in here so we'll get smoke gets trapped and blocking this off, and then the smoke would end up going out through that hole there. Um... And then we can move the bed to where the fire is at the moment. So the only problem with that is there's going to be a fire as soon as you come in. So you might end up burning yourself. But that's by the by, I guess. If I want to be able to sleep, that might be what I have to do. This piece of stone, again, we're still going to have to try and get rid of at some point. I'm thinking of putting chests all along here to put all our storage in. So eventually all the wood will be stored in here, hopefully. So everyone can come over here and grab that. And these are a different colour. I'm not sure if it means that they're they're broken or not. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to repair stuff. There we go. So, as you can see, all that stuff, coloured stuff, has obviously taken damage at some point. So, we'll quickly try and repair all of this. I don't know if that's due to stuff hitting it. A tree did land on the building earlier as well, which was a bit unfortunate. But, you know, the tree was by the building. I tried chopping it down and it fell on top. So, um,. I didn't think it caused too much damage, but it clearly did. And trying to get in there. There we go, right. So that's all fixed there, so that's not too bad. All of this seems to be all right, so that's okay. Maybe things just damage gradually over time anyway. Um, we'll quickly take a look outside for you guys, uh, rather than try and do all this work. And so this is our building so far. So I'm going to put, a, we're going to end up with a fence coming out and around here just to protect us. But it's looking pretty good, isn't it? It's not too shabby. Um, these are put in as supporters. And I think maybe, I think the idea of when you build buildings like this in this game is... Oh, there's a deer over there, look. He hasn't seen us. He hasn't seen us. Oh, we got caught. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so I think the idea is that you're supposed to build the structure first and then put all the wooden bits in later, whereas I did it the other way around, which means you're attaching... Effectively, you're attaching this these support beams to the um, face, the faces. I think that's what you call it, kind of like the walls. And I think it's supposed to be the other way around. All this stuff's supposed to support. So it might be that case. I'll try and talk to uh, Mantis, Cortez, or one of the others... Um, that are more proficient in building in this game than I am and see if that's the case. And it might just be the fact that we might have to quickly take some screenshots of this uh, so we remember how it's built and try and build the frame up again and then attach everything to it. But I think, you know, for a first time build, I'm pretty chuffed, you know, I think it's pretty good. And we, like I say, we've got something else to put in here, um, a little tower to get up so we can then, and then hopefully have some ladders going up around it so we can get up. And then we'd be able to look out over our little town that's uh, uh, forming, our encampment. So, and then eventually we're going to end up having to put paths in. I'm going to try and carry on for a bit. I'm not too much, too sure how much longer we've got left on the episode. But I wouldn't mind trying to put a bit more in. You can see these bits of wood, this is where bits are broken. And again, it's broken along here. So, like I said, I need to speak to one. I might end up having to put a few more pillars in. I was thinking of putting one in here and then taking these out and then maybe having pillars all the way along there. But like I was saying, I was going to get on with some more of the building, trying to do the tower and that. But I think I'm probably running out of time for this episode. So what I'll probably do is try and build the tower off camera. I'll show you it in the next episode. 
I hope you've enjoyed what you've been watching again. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you really like it, then hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.